Merengue lecture series, the rib action. So I'll do the gentleman's part with my back towards the camera. My accent after I move the hip and the rib and the step is I'm really stretching the rib cage over so the hip looks like it's pushed out. And we change some. You're not gonna go as far back the other way because you're traveling to the left. A lot to the left, a little to the right for the guys. A lot to the left, a little to the right. Ladies' point of view. So, rolling through, stretching the, the far leg, landing on a bent knee, and we're gonna accent the ribs or the back. So, we'll do side by side. What we're doing here is a little bit of stretch to each side. So, a little bit of stretch to each side, a little bit of jazz here, yeah? Accenting the ribs. We can also think about accenting the back. You can think about stretching the back. Yeah, very nice, yeah? Okay. I'm gonna do one side basic accenting the hips and one accenting the ribs or the back. So with the hips, we get this, hip. That's with the hips. We'll do it badly from this point of view, so a lot of hips. Yeah, okay. Now, rib cage allowing the hips to move, so I'm accenting the rib cage or the back. Mm -hmm. And the other side. So it's a nicer action with the rib cage. It's not over exaggerated. And because the rib cage has moved over, it looks like the hip has done more. But instead of the hip just doing more, it's relative to the ribs. Gives a nicer action. Another advantage is I'm connected to Betty up here, here. So she'll feel my ribs move, but she won't necessarily feel as much through the hips. So you get a better lead if you use your back and your, uh, uh, your rib cage. So if I get Betty to put, my, to put her hands on my back, she can feel me working the back muscles and there's even a little bit of pinch on one side or the other, the side that feels squished. So there's a little bit of a pinching action in the lower back within reason. <laughs> 